Hi. A short update following the possibility of working with SD3 locally with the help of Comfy UI. For the installation go to Hugging Face, of course all the links will be in the description of the video. First of all you have to register and agree to the conditions of Stability AI. The reason for this is the type of license for the use of the model. Currently the use of the model is free only for non-commercial work. Assuming you want to make commercial use of the model, you need to register for one of the programs on the Stability AI website. So after you have registered and approved the terms of use. Now you can download the models. The SD3 model works a little differently than what we are used to. Besides the model itself we also have text encoders. At the moment there are two main work options, download the SD3 model separately, and download the text encoder separately. If you choose this option, the text encoder should be placed in the clip folder in the path comfywe slash models slash clip, and the model as usual in the checkpoints folder. The second option, a little simpler, and this is the option I chose to start with. You need to download this model, which already contains the text encoders, and simply put it in the checkpoints folder. After we downloaded the models and put them in the correct folders. Don't forget to update Comfy, you can do it through the manager. I work as a base on this workspace by Comfy Anonymous. The first thing I noticed is that Stability's workflow is different from Comfy Anonymous's. There are these conditioning nodes here that are connected to the negative prompt. And from the tests I did, there is quite a difference in the final result if you add these conditioning or not. As you can see, even though all the data is exactly the same, we get very different results. Another thing, which is very significant in my opinion, is that currently there is no support for the model with IP adapter nor with control net. I suppose this will change in the future, but without these tools our control is relatively limited. Also regarding text and understanding the prompt, I had to play quite a bit with the prompt, and I felt that the model does not always understand what exactly is wanted from him. So my conclusion, that in terms of style this model brings photos that are more realistic in their photographic quality. I was a little disappointed with the ability to work with text and understand the prompt. So in the meantime I will wait for the models that the community will create based on this model, and for additional tools that will allow at least the same control as we have in SDXL. So I hope you learned, and that we will meet in the next lessons, of course you are welcome to subscribe to the channel ask questions and like if you liked. And most importantly, have fun. Bye.